Hi guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So, today we've got something a little bit different. A futuristic bus design. Well, at least my first one. I'm going to try out a couple of these, and I'll tutorial them as I get them, if I can actually figure out how to press F5 correctly. Um, so yeah, futuristic uh, bus. It's pretty different. <laughs> it's almost like a bubble bus. It's quite interesting. I'm still not sure about these. I'm, I think I'm actually going to take these off, but I'll show you where to put those anyway. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty different. Still works, really, really open. Uh, different type of back, and uh, like a little bit more of a bubbly front, I guess. So let's have a look on the inside. Really simple design. Um, just got you know the normal place where the bus driver sits. He's got a crazy view, green of the sky. I don't know why that's important in the future, but apparently it must be because that's how I've designed it. Uh, that's where you pay with your electronic paying thing, because nobody uses virtual money anymore in the future. Um, then you just come down here, load of seats, and then of course the back bench where the cool kids always sit. And apparently being cool means that you have to travel more. I don't know. But yeah, that's uh, going to get started. It's um, a bit different. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to find a place in the city where I probably need one. And uh, I'm going to start building it. Okay, so I've decided to build one around about this area. I'm just going to slow myself down as well. So depending on what side of the road you are driving, on the UK we drive on the left, so this is where it's going to be facing this way, which direction it's going to be driving. If you're in America, it will be going this way. So, make sure that you know where you're going, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And then we'll build the front wheels. So if you're looking at the front of the car, so front of the, well, front of the bus, think of it that way. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to have a wheel. And you can see that's right next to the edge. I've got five wide roads here. And it's right on the edge here. I'm going to go one, two, three then place down another wheel. Now, on the bottom of this one, what I've done is I've got quartz slabs, and I'll just go through the materials actually. You've got never brick slab, quartz slab, quartz stair, quartz block, black stained glass, you've also got a button. I'm actually going to just I'm gonna scale down that. You've also got a button, you've got black wall and signs, and also you've got black stained uh, glass pane, that's for the window sides. So, on the front anyway, let's just go across and join these two by three blocks. And we're going to add five on. One, two, three, four, five. And we're just going to have three of them. One, two, and three. Just like that. So it, it creates this kind of circular shape. Right on the back now, we're going to have one white. So we're just going to have a layer of white. One, two, three, four, five. And now counting that slab that we got here. So this one here is, is, is counting. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and then the 13th one is going to be white. So we've got one white, and then we should have 11 black. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I forgot to actually place those down. And then you've got your one white at the back. Now, if you come right to the back here, grab your black wall again. You're going to go black wall, black wall. So you're going to have a double wheel. And then what we're going to do is the same that we did with the white. So I would just mirror this on the other side really quickly. So I'm just going to grab this. And line it up with my eye. There we go. The two back wheels like this, just like we did before. Then these will be connected with white. I'm going to have five going across the back again. One, two, three, four, five. And then three if you're white. Just like that. And then just join these depending on the colour that they actually are uh, on the sides. So we're just going to fill in this floor like that. And just keep on bringing it back. Like this, and fill that up really, really simply. Just like that, really. And now what we're going to do is, if you grab your black stained glass, right in the front, we're just going to go one, two, three, and then just add one to the middle. Next set, we're just going to go one, two, then in, then out, then in. Across, as you can see here. So It's a bit weird, I know. <laughs> but you're just basically bordering that going around the outline of it. So you've just got two going up, connects onto one to fill in this gap, then three going across the top like that. Next one, we're actually going to have two blocks of quartz on top of this. So you've got two blocks of quartz, just like that, right in there. Okay, and then behind this, what you're going to do, and actually I missed one bit, right at the front, just to add an extra one on the top there as well. And then what we're going to do right on side, so we're going to go this way, we're just going to have a stair, and then another stair, okay, and then underneath this we're just going to have a block, and then a black piece of 
stained glass. This will give you your doorway. Now, on the other side, because there isn't a doorway there, if you're American, this doorway will actually be here. Or if you're from another part of the world where you drive on the right hand, right hand side of the road, your door will be on the other side. Obviously, because we've driven the left, this would actually be where you, where you get onto the bus. Kind of makes sense, I guess, um, if you're from where I live. Um, but yeah, so, you know, fill in this part like that. And you have your black stained glass underneath this one. And then just a block. And you have your two stairs like this. So you've got two stairs. Now, this is where you're actually going to set your next pieces of black stained glass. You're just going to have one there. And then this will go over the top to this point. Just get one, two, three. And then one. That will give you the actual front bubble, I guess you could call it. Let's, let's call it the bubble. Why not? Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to bring this glass all the way back. Just over the black part. Like that. And then another layer. And it will hit into that white bit. And then another layer. Now, this will change in a little bit. We're just going to cut into it, but um, for the time being, just drag it all the way back. Obviously, you can do whatever colour glass you want as well. So feel free to mess around with it. So just fill that all the way up. Just like that. And now if you go to the front part again, what we're going to do is we're going to have three blocks going across here. One, two, and three. Then with your quartz stairs, you're just going to put a quartz stair just on this point. So just on this one, it's almost like we're going one, one, one here. Which will create the line. Same on the other side. Just have one going across to that point. Okay, and then what we're going to do is actually it might be worth working on the back, possibly. Or no, let's do let's do this first. I'm just going to put in a full block here, and then we'll just bring back this line to where we've been building, just to this point, I guess. Will work, and then just put in quartz slabs, just to, to fill in those gaps, so you get these kind of stripes between them. Uh, so the glass actually does look like it is supported, otherwise. Uh, well, actually probably in an accent this bus wouldn't do so good, but uh, they will. <laughs> if we now go to the back, grab your glass again, we're just going to go across here again. Just do three going across with one. And then the next one, what we're going to do is exactly the same, we're just going to wrap it around like that. Uh, but this time we don't add the extra block, don't add the extra block on the top. But we do, of course, then still you know, go up. And then go across with this three, two, three, and one, two, three. Just going across to these points, just to create this weird bubble type thing at the back. We are going to change bits of it, but uh, for the time being that will do. If you now grab your quartz stairs, we're going to have one going this way, then going across these wheel arches like that. And then this one right here is a full block. So you can see that there. If we actually put in the buttons, it might make it easier for you guys to see the wheels. So just put in your stone buttons on those wheels. Um, if you wanted a hovering version of these, just just take out the wheels and put in something else. I'm sure you guys can come up with something. But here, up, uh, kind of upside down stair going this way, one going this way, one going this way, and then you're going to have a full block right in the back. Let's just change up the back a little bit. Now the next one we're going to have a block here, and then we're just going to step up like this, as you can see. And from here, it's going to have this stair, and I'm going to go diagonal to this point, and then diagonal to this point like this, and just put it in full uh, like full blocks for the time being. Same on the other side, so you're just going to basically step up these steps, put these in, and I believe this one's also ticking out like that. Okay, and then what you're going to do is if we just grab our black stained cl uh, glass again, I'm just going to drag this all the way back, and then we're going to count three blocks back one, two, three, and this is where we're actually going to cut these three blocks down and push them down to this point like that. So that's going to be slightly lower at the back. So we've just got one, two, three, and that only goes to a height of well, one, two, three, four blocks in total. And that's where it hits into this line. Put in your quartz slabs just to fill that gap. Like that. And now we're just going to do the little bits of detailing that we have on this part here. So if you grab your stairs, first bit we're going to do is we're just going to go one, two, three. Just cut all those ones. And then just wrap this one around, wrap this one around, wrap this one around like that. And then the next one we're going to do is just cut out these two and just put in normal stairs like that. It creates kind of a zigzag, I guess, um, is the closest. Uh, I guess it is. <laughs> so there we go. One, two, three. And just wrap these ones around. I'm going to have these two out, which will just create this little zigzag pattern. Makes it a little bit more interesting. So what would you want to do if you want to have the actual mirrors? You can put a mirror in here. Just for using the black stained glass. Uh, it's kind of up to you. It's a bit, bit odd. I think um, a bit different. 
your choice. Uh, what you can also do for the door is you can either have the stained uh, stained glass panes. You can have that there. You can also have it open like this. It doesn't doesn't quite work when it's open, but um, you can have it there. You could obviously have a door as well. Normal normal door. Just shove that in, or if it's open, put it in this way. Um, you can do that. I actually think that the stained glass pane probably works the best to make it look futuristic. Uh, another thing you could do if it was a different type of vehicle uh, is you know have this locked up. And say if it was, you didn't have to actually pay for it. You could also have a big door, for example, here, and then put in these. This might look quite cool. So do something like that. So you have the door right in the middle, like that. You know, sliding doors. Something like that would look also pretty good. So then it's more of a, a shuttle that uh, is or a government type one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the only thing I did on the inside, and actually I'll show you guys on the other one. If we just fly over there, so let's just do speed 10. Fly at super duper speed. Right the way over here. And hit into a tree, because if you don't, then... Uh, well, I don't know. Anyway, what we have here is just my completed one. So it's got an open door. And in this section here, just behind the door, I put in a little arch, then four blocks here, put in the stair, which is just a never brick stair. Oops, I oh, just punched up the glass. So you can see you can see me now sitting in it because of uh, what I've got on the server. I'm gonna have to fix whatever I just did there. I know that I punched out one, I have to have a look on the outside. Then got a trap door. So I've used the sky biome to get in, in my text track at least to get the white one. Got a couple of stairs wrapped around. And then what I did is I started from the back. So I started off from the back with birch, birchwood uh, stairs. Then just did one every so often. Put in a couple of buttons here. These are actually to ring the uh, you know, the stop buzzer. And just kept those going there. Had one going on the side here with another buzzer. And just to make it look a little bit better, I actually just put in an extra slab here. Makes it look a little bit more tunneled, um, which makes it look a little bit more interesting. So yeah, that's pretty much it for it. Uh, I guess the other details we can put in are of course, your standard, I guess, uh, signs and also a ladder. Uh, now with the ladder, it's slightly different. If we actually just fly down here and get back to it, there we go. So what I did here is I just put in signs just on these points, like this in the front. Now you could also do your item frames. Let's have a look at item frames. Grab those, grab your item frame, grab your glowstone, and then put those on as lights. You can do that, and you can do obviously a load of different types of uh, variations with those. Uh, but what I did is I just put on signs as a, like a bumper, and I ended up using World Edit because you have to use World Edit for this. But grabbed a, f a ladder, grabbed a normal block, put your ladder on that block, <laughs> grab some sort of tool, do REPL one, left click that, place the block where you want it, right click that, gets you it there. Uh, if you've got my text pack, and well, I'm on my server, I've got a plug-in for this. But if you get to Extreme Hills, it'll give you a grey one. So that's what I advise doing there. And also on the back as well, you can do exactly the same thing. Just throw a load of uh, different things on. You can have, of course, the number of the bus. If you wanted to do bus routes and things like that. If you wanted to make it really, like, well, I guess, like really detailed. <laughs> you could do something like that. So there we go. Got Extreme Hills, got the grey one. Actually, you don't need that. There we go. So that's the little bits of detail. You can also do things like put um, the ladder on, oh, not the ladder, the signs on the side going all the way across to make a stripe. You can also put anything else you want on there as well. Uh, but free, feel free to actually have a mess around. I guess you could even put paintings on the side. Wouldn't you? You know, like on here or on the glass to make it look like they've actually got adverts on them. <laughs> That'd be quite interesting. There you go, you got a nice advert for space it's the future. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Really simple one. Um, I think it's pretty cool. It's completely different. I haven't seen anything like it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure that you comment in the comment section below, obviously. If you've got any things that you want to see, any things that you're stuck with, give me a shout, and uh, if I get enough requests for it, I will make a video on it. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.